hello once again folks and welcome along to another video from gun dog and fly and a happy new year to everybody and particularly those who are subscribers to the channel and um, today i want to introduce you to on karkishke in irish a uh, water hen and she had uh, an unfortunate run in with a white van and i happened to be coming along behind the white van and saw the accident occur she was lying dead on the road i picked her up and um, there's another old saying in Irish, they say, it's uncle goy nach shaden madad in egan. And basically what that amounts to is, it's an, in, an ill wind that doesn't blow good for somebody. So I'm fortunate enough now to have this unfortunate bird. And I'm going to show you how to tie one of the best wet flies ever invented using the feathers from this unfortunate bird. So be sure to stay with me. It's not difficult to tie anyone with any... Um, level of experience will be easily able to tie this very very effective wet fly so be sure to stay with me okay the feathers I'm going to use from this bird now all of the feathers on this bird are very very useful for tying particularly wet flies but the feathers I'm going to use are located here just on top of the wing here these are the ones to tie this particular fly this fly is called the water hen blower and uh, a very very effective wet fly i strongly recommend that if you're fishing in the springtime that you should use a water hen blower it's a brilliant fly so uh, let's get to the tying okay the hook i'm going to use to tie this fly is a camasan b175 in a size 14. Very strong hooks, never let me down. Now they are barbed, so you can debarb them if you desire. Now, the tying thread is um, uni thread in uh, 80 yellow. So the first thing to do is to make a start just behind the eye. Or if I turns like that, just there. Just snip off that little piece there. Now the next thing to do is to prepare the feather. This is a feather that I've taken from the top of the wing, uh, as I pointed out earlier on, from the water hen's wing. So I'm gonna take off this loose, fluffy stuff here at the bottom of the feather. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the feather fibre from one side, like that. And now just catch the front of the feather here and pull. Oh, just dropped it. Now, that's the tying in point just there. So what I'm going to do is now, I'm just going to tie in that feather. Just like that. I'm coming forward a couple of turns and now I'm going back along. Now, I'll just give that a little trim. There. And back along in touching turns. To just opposite the barb. I'm going to trim out that little bit there, not that it makes a whole bit of di a lot of difference. But okay, now you can use, if you deem it necessary, um, dubbing wax or whatever the case may be, um, to apply the little bit of dubbing that's required. The dubbing that's required in the original fly was moles, mole, um, mole for, but I have here basically the equivalent it's uh, I think it was uh, a possum believe it or not but any sort of gray darkish gray dubbing will do nicely I and mean, you put it on quite loose just 
Now the, the wax will of course make it a little easier, but I, I don't like using wax, it's just very tacky and messy. So I just use my fingers here and apply that little bit of grey dubbing. Now what I do at this point is I bring the thread up like this to double it, make a few turns here, up to the front and now I'm twisting this here to create that little dubbing rope like that. And you can use a hackle pliers but I can put my hands on one to apply that little dubbing rope. Uh, there we go. So sparse is the secret and touching turns moving forward. You see it has a very buggy type body and with the yellow thread showing through it turns very olivey on contact with the water. Now tie that off. Trim the waist. And now the feather. Very simple. Just be gentle with the feather because they are quite delicate. But they're very strong when they're tied in. There we are, bring the thread over. Now sometimes it will snap off, but sometimes it necessitates using the scissors, so we're going to use the scissors here. That's it. Pull the feather back. A few nice secure turns. And that, folks, is water hen blower. As I said already, a very simple fly to tie, but unbelievably effective, and particularly in the springtime. can be used the whole year round, but absolutely unbelievable in the springtime. On the point, middle, dropper, or it makes no difference where you place it, the trout just love it. So that's it, folks. Try and get yourself a water hen. I believe the wings can be bought from fly shops and that. I just happened to be lucky that I came upon that uh, unfortunate accident. So once again, uh, it's not a difficult fly to tie, so give it a go and uh, be sure to have it in your fly box come springtime. So once again, thanks very much for joining me here at Gundog and Fly and Gadi Unkeadorilla Slong of Hole, August Bigi Egiskrucht.